<laughs> I'll cut that out. I'll, I'll cut that out. I'll cut that out. Ready? Okay. Hi. You're Critica. Hi. You're Alice. And this is Is, is that, that Really White? White? A short PSA on the effects of vitiligo and its effects on the human body. Well, vitiligo, pronounced vitiligo, vitiligo, is a pigmentation disorder in which melanocytes, the cells that make pigment, in the skin are destroyed. As a result, white patches appear on the skin in different parts of the body. Wow, that's really interesting. Similar patches also appear on both the mucous membranes, tissues that line the inside of the mouth and nose, and the retina, inner layer of the eyeball. The hair that grows on areas affected by vitiligo sometimes turns white. You know what, Critica? Thank you. That was really informative. Thank you. The cause of vitiligo is not known, oh. but doctors and researchers have several different theories. Mm -hmm. There's strong evidence that people with vitiligo inherit a group of three genes, three. that's right, three, that make them susceptible to depigmentation. Yes. The most widely accepted view is that the depigmentation occurs because vitiligo is an autoimmune disease. Auto? Do you know what autoimmune disease is? Actually, no. I'll tell you. Okay, thank you. You ready? You. Okay. Autoimmune disease is a disease in which a person's immune system reacts against the body's own organs or tissues. Oh. People's, pro uh, people's bodies produce proteins called cytokinus that, in vitiligo, alter the pigment-producing cells and cause these cells to die. God. Yes, these cells die. Another theory is that melocytin... <laughs> melanocytes? Melanocytes destroy themselves. Okay. Finally, some people have reported that a single event, such as sunburn, burn, or emotional distress, triggered vitiligo. However, 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 these events have not been scientifically proven as the causes of vitiligo. Fascinating. You're welcome. Did you know, Critica, that about 0.5 to 1% of the world's population, or as many as 65 million people, That's have vitiligo? People. In the United States, 1 to 2 million people have this disorder. In the United States. Half of the people who have vitiligo develop it before the age of 20. Most develop it before their 40th birthday. This disorder affects both sexes and all races equally. However, it is more noticeable in people with dark skin. Oh. Like Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yes. My idol. Really? What's your favorite song, Critica? Thriller. Thriller. Yes. Wow, mine's Billie Jean. Whatever. Vitiligo seems somewhat more common in people with certain autoimmune diseases. Vitiligo may also be hereditary. That is, it can run in families. Oh my gosh. But did you notice that Michael Jackson, none of his family had vitiligo? Yeah, no. Yeah, how about that? Tragic death. Children whose parents have the disease are more likely to develop vitiligo. In fact, 30% of the people with vitiligo have a family member with the disease. However, only 5 to 7% of the children will get vitiligo, even if a parent has it. And most people with vitiligo do not even have family history of the disorder, like Michael Jackson. Fascinating. You're welcome. People who develop vitiligo usually first notice white patches, depigmentation, on their skin. These patches are more commonly found on sun-exposed areas of the body, including the hands, feet, arms, face, and lips. Other common areas for white patches to appear are the armpits and groin, and around the mouth, eyes, nostrils, navel, genitals, and rectum. Vitiligo generally appears in one of three patterns, a focal pattern, which is depigmentation limited to one or only a few areas. Segmental pattern, depigmented patches that develop on one side of the body, and a generalized pattern, the most common pattern. Is it? Depigmentation occurs symmetrically on both sides of the body. So if you were to perform a mid sagittal cut on that person with generalized pattern, then it'd be on both sides, would it? Yes, symmetrical. Yes, you're welcome. In addition to white patches on the skin, people with vitiligo may have premature graying of the scalp, hair, eyelashes, eyebrows, and beard. People with dark skin may notice a loss of color inside their mouths. I don't notice it, so I don't yeah, have it. Yeah, okay, well, um, thank you. You're welcome. For listening in to this PSA, yes. not you. <laughs> thank you all.
Thank we you. appreciate. Thank you for your time. Goodbye. Yeah. Bitch. So.